The Innova DGX systems have a lot of really, really amazing and wonderful uh, functions and features. We're going to talk about two very important ones today. The first one is Instigate Pro. Instigate Pro does a couple of very, very important things. The first one is it eliminates delays which are traditionally associated with switching HDMI and HDCP as source and displays go through an authentication process. Um, with Instigate Pro, we constantly validate the sources and the destinations so that there is no delay as you switch between source and destinations. Similarly, there's no loss of video when you switch new outputs to a pre-switched input. The other really important thing about Instigate Pro is that we've included now a, a very sophisticated key management system inside the Innova DGX switching systems. What that means is we're allowing traditionally key limited source devices, um, Blu-ray players with one or two uh, keys or, uh, or satellite receivers or cable boxes, oftentimes many have only one or two keys, we're allowing them to switch freely to, if it's a 16 by 16 matrix, to all 16 outputs simultaneously or all 32 outputs simultaneously, as long as those destination devices are HDCP compliant. The other really important thing that we're talking about today is smart scale technology. And smart scale technology was something we brought out in the Epica DGX system uh, originally, and we've rolled it into the Nova DGX system as we're bringing in HDMI with HDCP signals. Because we're mixing analog and digital systems, signals inside of the same system, we get a, a, a great combination of, of different signal styles. And because we don't know what type of displays we're going to, um, in many cases we have varying resolution support between sources and destinations. What we find is that um, if we don't have some sort of intelligence inside of the system, sources uh, can oftentimes put out way too high of a resolution for a destination to be able to show that video. In many cases, competitors do something called greatest common resolution through EDID management. And really all that's doing is forcing all the source devices to the best common resolution, which really means the lowest, one of the lower resolutions in many cases because there are oftentimes displays that have lower resolutions. So let's just take a look at what Smart Scale is allowing us to do here today. I've got several different source devices. I've got an inspired signage player. It's a 480p source device. And as we switch it to all of the outputs, what you'll see is that all of the displays are showing it without a problem. The next source we have is a quantum data. Now this is a signal generator. We've got it set to 1600 by 1200. And as you can see, it shows on every display perfectly without any issue. Even though uh, one of these displays is a 1440 by 900 and there's another at 16 by 900, 1600 by 900. And it wouldn't be able to show that signal at all if, if we didn't have smart scale on every single output. The next is a 720p Blu-ray that we've got playing a movie. And again, as the, as the displays sync up to that new image, it's showing just fine. All of them are showing as much information as we can. SmartScale actively reads each display's EDID information and sets up a specific scaling parameter for that display to the new incoming video um, every time a new video is sent to it. We set up smart scale based on the, the, the native resolution, including, including total horizontal pixel count, total vertical pixel count, and all the detailed timing information on that display. In reality, every display gets its own custom scaling parameter. So every image always looks its best on every single display. The last one is a full 1080p uh, Blu-ray player showing a Blu-ray uh, video. It's actually uh, Avatar, if I'm not mistaken. And again, 1080p would not be able to be shown on several of, the, of these displays. But because we have smart scale technology on every single output, including we have a DVI output board option, a category cable option called DX Link, um, and we even have a, a, a uh, a, a different option for fiber solution for non-HTCP signals, which are also the receivers are, are smart scaled. The whole idea is to simplify the process so that the integration setup and commissioning procedure is as simple and as easy as possible. In most cases, it's plugging in the source devices and plugging in the, de the, the destinations and that's it. Um, and we're really excited about the Adobe DGX systems. There's so many more features and functions we'll talk about later on. But for now, keep in mind Instigate Pro and all the benefits you see from that and Smart Scale. It's so important we put it on every output, even local outputs, so that every display will look its best. Until then, uh, next time we'll talk to you soon. Um, thanks so much and have a great day.